Wuthering Waves is a 2024 game powered by the Unreal Engine 4, and these are the game's minimum system requirements. Now I know I've already made plenty of videos on this topic, but after getting so many requests from you all, I thought, why not make another one with some fresh and unique tweaks? So in today's video, I'll show you how to maximize performance on your integrated graphics machine and get the best possible FPS. So without further delay, let's jump right in. First, I'm going to run the game using my integrated graphics. The screen resolution is set to 1080p, the frame rate is capped at 60 FPS, and V-Sync is turned off, and every other graphics setting is set to the lowest preset. I've also disabled FSR because I want to experiment with the resolution scaler, but it's entirely up to you whether you prefer to play with FSR enabled or disabled. Additionally, I've turned off extra animations and effects to gain a slight boost in performance. Now let's see how the game performs with these settings. Well, I can say that the game is still quite playable with these settings. However, the FPS is pretty low at the moment, but it's still manageable. Now, let's enable FSR and see how the game performs. With FSR enabled, I still can't hit 60 FPS, but the FPS improvement is noticeable. However, if your game is still lagging or stuttering, don't worry. Stick with me until the end of this video, because I have plenty of tweaks to help you achieve the best possible performance. So now, let's exit the game and start tweaking to improve its performance. First, you need to delete the game configuration files, and you can find them in the game directory under Wuthering Waves game folder. Client, Saved, Config, and then Windows No Editor. Once you've deleted these files, launch the game. After launching, go to the settings and lower every graphical option. If everything is already set to the lowest, you don't need to change anything. Now simply exit the game and let's move on to tweaking. Now navigate back to the game's configuration folder and open the game user settings file using Notepad. The first key here controls the resolution scaler, which determines the internal rendering resolution of the game. To manually adjust this, Ensure that FSR is disabled in the game settings, otherwise it won't take effect. I'll set it to 40, which will lower the rendering resolution, making the game look more pixelated, but significantly boosting FPS. Additionally, disable any unnecessary graphical presets. The next two keys manage the screen resolution, but since the game doesn't allow resolution changes in full screen mode, leave these as they are. Another important setting is the frame rate limit, but the game enforces a 60 FPS cap meaning any adjustments here won't bypass the restriction. So after making these modifications, save the file and set it to read-only to ensure the settings remain intact. Now let's check the improvements. It seems that the changes we made earlier didn't take effect, as the resolution scaler from the game user settings file isn't working, neither anything. But don't worry, I've got you covered. For further tweaking, open the engine file using Notepad. Here, We'll manually add a secondary resolution scaler variable since the first one didn't apply. I'll set it to 30, which will significantly boost FPS at the cost of more pixelated visuals. Additionally, we'll add a few more performance boosting variables to further optimize the game. Once all changes are made, save the file and set it to read-only to prevent the game from overriding the settings. Now let's relaunch the game and check the results again. Now as you can see, I can easily hit 60 FPS, but there's a new issue, texture glitches. Don't worry, I've got you covered again. To fix this, simply open the engine file once more and remove this specific segment that's causing the texture issue. If you're unsure which part to edit, check out the video description where I've provided a pre-configured file for download. Once you've made the changes, save the file and don't forget to set it to read-only again. As you can see, everything is now running much smoother and the game is performing way better. But if you still want to push the FPS even further, then you can easily do that by enabling Potato Graphics. For a step-by-step -step guide, check out this video, where I show how to enable potato graphics and squeeze out every bit of performance from the game. So well guys, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like, subscribe, and also share this video with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing Wuthering Waves without lag. And I'll see you all again in the next one. So until then, take care and bye. Leave it to me.